Hello, welcome to Prairie Imperfection. It's Lisa again, and I'm gonna do another pregnancy update. I know it's been a while, I'm sorry. I've been struggling with health the last couple weeks, so here I am to update you on my weeks 11 and 12 of pregnancy. So, like I said, yes, my health has been an issue lately. The week 11, we were sick with the cold, me and my two babies, and then my husband got it too, so our whole house was sick. And yeah, I didn't have much energy for anything other than keeping us alive and keeping us medicated, I guess, to get over the cold. So that was my week 11, pregnancy-wise. Yeah, there wasn't much like, I think the cold symptoms kind of took over. So my symptoms for pregnancy, I didn't really feel pregnant that week actually, cause I was just too sick. And though, yeah, I had lost my appetite that week. I think that had more to do with the cold than the pregnancy though. But yeah, that was my week 11. At the end of the week 11, I was even, I even thought to myself like a couple days before week 11 ended like, I don't even feel pregnant anymore. And then, um, the day that I started week 12, which was a Thursday, I started spotting and then I started freaking out because I remember thinking, I don't feel pregnant anymore. Now I'm spotting and uh, those are two signs of miscarriage, I guess, or yeah. So my week 12 started out not very good. Uh, yeah, I spotted, I spotted once on the first day of week 12, meaning like when I wiped, there was blood, but it wasn't you know, it was just one wipe and that's it. Then the next day there was a little bit of light bleeding, but it wasn't anything huge and it wasn't bright red and it wasn't clotting, but I went to Google and I got all freaked out and didn't know if I should go to emergency or what I should do. Cause it was, yeah, Friday night by that time. So I couldn't even call my doctor, but I called 811, which is, here is like a, Healthline that you can go talk to a registered nurse anytime, which is awesome. I would totally recommend doing that instead of Googling because, yes, I talked to the nurse and she said, unless there's a lot of blood flow and clotting, then it's not an emergency. You can just wait until you, you know, you can talk to your doctor and see if you know, they'll, they'll help you out, your family doctor or your OB. So yes, I waited till the Monday then, even though, yeah, I did have a stressful weekend. At some points, you know, I was convinced I had a missed miscarriage or whatever. And anyways, by Monday morning, I think I had calmed myself down enough. I did talk to my, the receptionist at my doctor's office. They said they'd tell the doctor <clears throat> but they didn't seem concerned and I kind of, and I had stopped, you know, it was only like that one little spotting on Thursday and then a light bleeding on Friday for, I don't know, like half an hour only. It wasn't a huge amount. So I kind of just convinced myself everything's okay and moved on. But I have been struggling with my mental health since then, or maybe I have been like my emotional side has been heightened quite a bit from the beginning of this pregnancy, but that event just triggered anxiety. <sighs> so that's what I've dealt with pretty much all of week. 12 was anxiety 
And that is why I haven't posted a video recently because I just didn't feel mentally like doing YouTube at the moment. So, yeah. Yes, now I have my good moments and my bad moments. I am still struggling kind of with anxiety and depression a little bit. I'm realizing probably that's a symptom of this pregnancy and pregnancy in general for me because I do struggle quite a bit with the fear, I guess, of not knowing what's going on, not being able to handle not knowing anything I'll, I, and having no control over anything and just having to be like this vessel that carries life and has, n you know, really nothing to do with it actually. <sighs> so yes, that causes me a lot of anxiety. But okay, now let's talk about some fun things. Um, my symptoms for week well, were then loss of appetite, um, dreams. I have been dreaming a lot, way more than I usually do, or at least I remember the dreams more. I don't know. When in my normal life, I don't feel like I dream at all, or I can't remember dreaming at all. But throughout the last couple weeks, I have been dreaming a lot and it's dreams like I can remember when I wake up and they're very random dreams but you know they don't make a lot of sense or anything it's nothing about the baby it's just I know that I'm dreaming a lot more <clears throat> um what else was there oh yeah my sense of smell my sense of smell actually was in week whatever 11 and 12. In week 11 and 12, my sense of smell, smell has getting, has increased. Um, is that it for symptoms? I think so. We don't got very many. And like I said, the anxiety, that's the most, the biggest symptom. Anxiety slash depressing, duh, depression has been the biggest ones. I have realized staying busy helps a lot with that. So I usually have better days when I have kids over that I'm babysitting because it keeps me busy and keeps me distracted. So that's good. This week I have three days that I'm doing that. So hopefully this week goes good. Plus I have my doctor's appointment finally on Thursday coming up. So that will be nice to hopefully hear a heartbeat or at least know, you know, have a checkup so I know what's going on. Um, cravings, like I said, I lost my appetite so I didn't have really any cravings. I kind of struggled. I just basically didn't want to eat anything until I was so starving that I had to eat. Then I just, you know, scarfed down as much as I could while I was hungry, which was you know, I tried to make it nutritious enough. I did have quite a few tuna sandwiches. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. Very simple. You know, chicken and rice and boring kind of meals just to get in some nutrition. Um, yeah. I have mostly more like aversions than I do cravings right now. One of the biggest aver aversions that I have is coffee, which like, I don't know if you've seen other videos, you might know this, but I already am cutting back on my coffee a lot because I was having issues with caffeine and lightheadedness and dizziness before I got pregnant. And then when I got pregnant, I thought it would be good just to cut it out anyways so I was drinking like you know a cup of coffee a week or something but now I totally don't want to drink coffee at all and let me see what's another aversion egg is an aversion which is not really surprising because I don't generally like eggs anyways 
unless scrambled or like an omelet or something, then I'll eat them. But yeah, right now I'm not eating any eggs. Don't want them. Yeah, and dough, kind of. Like, I don't mind having a piece of toast with peanut butter. That's not bad, but like, I'm not into dough things like cinnamon buns or, you know, anything that has a lot of big chunky pieces of dough. And yeah, that's about it for my food aversions slash craving. Um, my weight was last Thursday when I checked at the, you know, 13 week mark, I was 168 pounds. So yeah, I lost like six, seven pounds. Lost seven pounds in the last two weeks, but yeah, like I said, because I was sick and I had lost my appetite in the last two weeks, that's probably why I lost that, but my appetite has, is coming back now, I think, so we'll probably go back up again soon. Anyway, I think that's it for the update. I wanted to just get on here and kind of let you know I'm still alive and um, baby, as far as I know, baby is still doing good. I am trying to mentally, you know, get through the days and hopefully, yeah, on my next update, I can tell you a little bit more solidly how the baby is doing because I will have had a doctor's appointment finally. It's been, yeah, like the last time I had a doctor's appointment before my ultrasound and then I had an ultrasound at seven weeks, six days. So that's the last time I've seen anyone. Ah. <sighs> So yeah, when you already have anxiety about not knowing what's going on and it's been like almost probably six weeks now till I get to see, till I'll get to see my next doctor, till I'll get into my next doctor's appointment. So it's hard. Anyways, I'll just show you my bump and then I will say goodbye. Okay, so this bump is a little bit weird because my filming schedule is off. Hopefully I can get my filming schedule back on, but I am now today. 13 weeks and two days. Okay, I think I'm 13 weeks and three days now, actually. So, yes, there's the bump. Okay, thank you for watching. I am hoping to get on a better schedule again with my YouTube. And then, yeah, you can get a bit more regular update from me. Sorry about that. See ya in the next one. Bye.